Hello and welcome to another video. Today we're going to look at simplifying using index laws 1 and 2, which will make sense over the page. These are all the index laws. All right, but we're just going to look at answering questions like the following, if you've had any similar questions during homework. And these are covered in year nine in Queensland. So let's check it out. Okay, so this video is going to focus on just laws one and two. And we aim to solve more difficult problems like this. Seemingly difficult, but it's all good. And in later videos, we will check out these laws that have brackets in them and then eventually end up with the negative index laws. Let's check out the first one. So it says simplify giving your answer in index form. Looking at this, so 7 to the power of 2 times 7 to the power of 4. So we're multiplying indices with the same base. Think about which law that looks like. If we're multiplying, we add the indices. So that's law 1. Multiplying means add the indices. So we're just going to add those indices. 2 plus 4, 6. And it says leave your answer in index form. So that's done. And this one, five to the four divided by five. So five is the same as five to the power of one. I always call that the invisible one. So wherever there is just a number on its own, just put a little one there, invisible ones, okay? So see how there's a number on its own here? I immediately put the one, so I call that invisible ones and we'll have a little bit of practice with that. So first step, put down your invisible one and now the index law for dividing indices. So we can see that that's law two. Dividing indices with the same base means you subtract the index. Five to the four take one. 5 to the 4 take 1, so 5 to the 3, and leaving an index form, that's done. Next question, so simplify giving your answer in index form. Look at this one. So it's got a, a couple of operation signs here, but that's okay. We, when it, wherever we see multiple operation signs, we can think of bid mass, the order of in which operations are performed. Okay, and division and multiplication go together. So you're just going to work left to right. But what I see here is I would just look at that and simplify it first. You can take it in a couple of steps. And let's bring our index laws over. So multiplying indices with the same base means law one. You're adding those little numbers. So let's simplify that bit. Why did I put subtract? So add those and then just write that straight down and we'll deal with that soon. And remember invisible one actually. So now let's simplify it a bit. So five plus two is seven. C to the seven divided by C to the one. Now we've only got one operation sign and we know the law for dividing indices with the same base is you subtract the indices. So law two, C to the seven, take one, C to the six, done. Okay, this one, we don't have any invisible ones we need to put here, so that's good. But we can see that we're multiplying and then we're dividing. So when there's a thing like a fraction, I always simplify on the numerator first, then simplify on the denominator, then divide the whole thing. So let's try simplifying on the numerator first, where we are multiplying indices. So we're using law one. So where we add the indices over e squared, make it a bit simpler, e to the eight, divide e squared. Remember that fraction sign means divide. And when we're dividing two indices with the same base, that's law two. Subtract the little numbers. 
dividing, so subtract e to the 6. Next one. Simplify giving your answers in index form. So here there's a couple of operations I can see multiply and divide. And it's a fraction. So whenever I see fractions, I simplify on the numerator first, simplify on the denominator, and then work out the whole thing. Okay. Simplifying on that numerator. Now we can see that there's actually some coefficients in here. So let's pull them out the front. We're going to pull those coefficients out the front and we're just going to rewrite that numerator with those indices next to each other. And now let's simplify. So 3 times 8, 24 y squared times y to the 7, multiplying indices with the same base, add those indices to simplify. y to the 2 plus 7 is 9. So you can just write it straight down if you know it. You don't have to write in the little sum every time. And we've simplified that scary numerator. 4y cubed. Now what happens here? Again, we look at the normal numbers and we simplify them. We look at the indices and we simplify them together. So normal numbers, 24 divide 4. Remember that fraction sign means divide. So 24 divide 4 is 6. We're going to condense that up to the numerator. And then we know that y to the 9 divide y to the 3. I'll just add in this extra step. So is y to the 9 take 3? And then that becomes 6y to the 6. So when you do 24 divided by 4, that goes on the numerator. You should not get an answer with the 6 on the denominator. Okay, but let's check out another question. Simplify giving your answers in index form. And here we've got two fractions multiplied together. So remember the rules for multiplying fractions. So it's a lot easier than adding fractions. You multiply. So, so let's think about how we would multiply a half times two fifths. You're going to do numerator times numerator over denominator times denominator and you bring them together like that and then you just multiply like that and simplify as far as you can. So it's no different here. You've just got some letters in there to confuse things a bit, but that's all right. So multiplying fractions, numerator by numerator. So let's bring them all onto the numerator actually. 12k times 6k to the 4 over 3m to the 3 times 4m to the 4. So I've got them on the same, um, I can't remember what this is called, vinculum or something. We've got them on the same line. Now let's collect those coefficients out the front. We can just rewrite it. 12 times 6 times k times k to the 4. And I notice that there's a k there. Put down that invisible one straight away. Write it, rewrite it with an index. Okay, and now let's rewrite the coefficients on the denominator together. 3 times 4 times m cubed times m to the 4. Now let's simplify. So normal numbers times normal numbers on the numerator. 6 12s, 72. We know when multiplying indices with the same base, we add those indices, k to the 5, so 1 plus 4 is 5 there. Now on the denominator, let's simplify. 3 times 4 is 12. Multiplying indices, add the indices, so m to the 7. And we're just condensing it further and further. Now look at this, 72 divide 12. Remember that fraction sign means divide? That's 6. k to the 5 on m to the 7. Well, they don't have the same base. So that's as far as we can go, actually. 
And remember to write that M to the 7 on the denominator. They need to stay in that same place. You can't just move it straight up there because then that's multiplying. All right. I believe this is the last question. Yes. Simplify giving your answers in index form. Okay, again, we've got two fractions multiplied by each other. Multiplying fractions, numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator. So what I'll just do this time is just skip straight to getting those coefficients out the front and let's see what happens. So 8 times 15 on the numerator times a to the 4 times a invisible ones times b to the 5 times b to the invisible one over, get the coefficients out the front, 5 times 4 times a, another invisible one, times a to the 1 times b cubed. Now, we've got the fractions condensed together. Now let's simplify numerator, then simplify denominator. And straight into my calculator, 8 times 15, 120. And let's get those together. Indices with the same base. So that's a to the 4 plus 1 is 5. b to the 5 plus 1 is 6. Simplify the denominator. 5 times 4, 20. a to the 1 times a to the 1. We'll add those indices. 1 plus 1, 2. Last line, fraction sign means divide. Get those numbers out the front, 120 divided by 20. And that's six. So six on the numerator, not the denominator. Dividing, so dividing our indice, um, indices with the same base. A to the five divided A squared. Well, that's going to be A to the, you can always rewrite it. Just rewrite that. Five take two b to the 6, take 3. It needs to be in that order. And there's actually no denominator now, so that's nice. And our last line to simplify, 6a to the 3, a to the 3, b to the 3. And that's as far as we can get it. And we are done.